Well, hello, this is Pastor Stephen with another thought for the day. So let's just begin with a deep breath. So comparing sayings from the Jesus tradition with sayings from the Buddhist tradition, our Jesus tradition comes from Luke 21. Jesus looked up and he saw rich people in the temple putting their gifts into the treasury. He also saw a poor widow putting two small copper coins he said, truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them, for all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she, out of her poverty, has put in all she had to live on. Now, I got to tell you, we've been reading that parable the wrong way for a long time, and it's got a par parallel in the Buddhist tradition based on that wrong reading. The wrong reading is to read as Jesus congratulating the w widow, saying she's done something really great and noble because it's her last two coins. Just a few verses before that, Jesus said, look out for the scribes and the Pharisees because they devour widows' houses. And by house, he meant like their estates. There was an obligation in the Jewish law to support widows. And this temple thing going on then was taking money from the widows, their last coin. So it's a criticism, not a praise, but anyway, if you take it as a praise, it parallels this Buddhist um, tradition. Giving is the noble expression of the benevolence of the mighty. Even dust given in childish innocence is a good gift. No gift that is given in good faith to a worthy recipient can be called small. Its effect is so great. Well, that's so true, isn't it? Because um, not many of us can do big things. We can't endow university chairs or hospitals or things like that. Uh, but we can do small things, and collectively our small things can come together and make a big difference. And though, so that's what I'm hoping that we can do as a community is come together, gather our resources together, and then make a difference for people like widows. And that's our thought for the day.